I'm Nathan Olivares Giles with the Los Angeles Times, and this is the Motorola Droid 4, one of the last of a dying breed of smartphones as it combines a full touchscreen with a full QWERTY keyboard. Now, if you're really into keyboards, if that's just your thing, your preference, or if you need one for work, you're going to find a good keyboard here in the Droid 4. It's really solid, it feels great to type on, and it's great if you're having to rattle off a long email. One fantastic feature about the keyboard is, it, is that it's actually backlit, and if you're in a dark area, the phone will sense that and light up the keys. All in all, it feels like it's built like a tank, and the whole device kind of feels that way. It really lives up to the expectations of the first three generations of Droid devices from Motorola. But that's about the extent of what I really was enamored with in a Droid 4. The main drawback here is the touch display. The screen really just left a lot to be desired. It was slow to respond to my touch, and you actually saw some motion blurring and some ghosting effect, even just switching between home screens. If you're looking at apps or websites, images or text can look kind of jagged. Nothing really looks as bright as I feel like it ever should, and in fact, a lot of colors even look washed out. Now, the 4-inch touchscreen that the Droid 4 has here has a 960 by 540 resolution, which is honestly below the standard that a lot of modern smartphones do have. You're seeing at least 720p on a lot of phones out there, and this falls below that. The Droid 4 comes in at just half an inch thick. It weighs 6.31 ounces. That's a bit thick for a smartphone, but that's actually one of the thinnest smartphones out there among those that have a slide-out keyboard included. On the inside here, you have a 1.2 gigahertz dual-core processor one gig of RAM, and 16 gigabytes of built-in storage. And underneath this plastic cover on the back here, you have a micro SD card slot. Now, the battery, unlike the first three generations of Droid handsets, is not removable. That's gonna be a problem for power users. Battery life on the Droid 4 was pretty good, about what you'd expect from a 4G LTE smartphone. You can make it through an entire day before needing a charge, but if you use your phone a lot at work, you're gonna to wanna to carry a charger on you. Now, $200 on a two-year contract, that's a fair asking price for the Droid 4. But all in all, the user experience feels as though it's a generation behind. And for that reason, I think the Droid 4 will do little to stop the slide of the smartphone keyboard into extinction.